Well, it's the beginning of a new club. Same season. But new club. And we're in another relegation battle. But you know what? That's okay. We start off against the toughest team in the league, however. Also, in other news, I have a bastard of a throat infection. And the biggest eczema flip I've ever had in my life. Guess I've never had eczema. So if you see spots on my face, I apologise. This is quite a gamer. My name is Duncan. And welcome to the Club 2 of the Journeyman. <laughs> So yep, yeah, welcome in everybody, and this is our lineup to take on TNS today. Matthews and goals, Tom Curl is coming in at right back, the boy who's not played much this season. I'd initially decided to go for McLean and Ngoma in defence, but I've just, before recording today, changed it to Eddie Nassi. He's technically, or the, the coach's view him as the best centre-half. The only reason I think I'd pick McLean was his height. McLean's 6'4", the other boys are 6'1", or 5'10". I think it's 6'1". Uh, McKinday is going to be playing left back with zero pace. Great. Uh, Page, the man who is our our best player, but looked amazing as a DM, so that's where we're going to play him. He is in with Kelly and Clark in front of him with good shit playing as a wide target man of all things. A winger and Harlock on the left and deep line forward Newell up front. Jones, Jones and Knight don't make the squad. I'm not expecting a result here in the slightest. Truthfully, I'm just hoping not to get absolutely hammered. It is all I'm going for. Also, apologies, I have a loss shirt just to try and keep my mouth and throat, you know, not dry. Um, yeah, not looking forward to Declan McManus. Jordan Marshall, who's the same player I think it is, Andy Firth, have all played in Scotland. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting much from today's game. This isn't the game where it's going to. St- like relegate us or save us. Could save us actually, but definitely won't relegate us. I'm not too bothered. Sears also might have played in Scotland. So we are the team in red. TNS are the team in white. I believe anyway. Yeah, they are. And here we are. The first game in charge for us and the first game on record for us for the new for the new we're not new since we are Balatown. Okay, decent enough. Okay, decent enough playing there actually. Um, much to get the shot away, on the fact that it was offside. The match to get the shot away. We actually defended that quite well. Like if we were still at the other team, that would have, you know, <laughs> been a lot more disastrous looking than it probably was. I do expect TNS to be all over us this game, and that's okay. You know, we, we are playing a bit more defensive than maybe like. Um, but that's okay, you know. This isn't the team that's going to, as I said, relegate us. So, well, what about the rest? See, as long as we don't get hammered, because that's the thing. If we get an absolute hammering, morale will just drop. Now, I'm not really. I didn't check how good morale was in the first place. So anything that can harm that is a bigger issue than actually getting beat here today. And we haven't even had a shot yet. Not coming up for half an hour at the game. We've not had a shot at all. But it sounds like we're containing them okay. Akendi's not in the greatest game at left back, going by the match stats. That was an easy chance, could say, by Matthews. He's also picked up a booking. I think we have a young slot on the bench. We can't play either fullbacks. We might just bring him on at half time just to see. You know, we, we can't be afraid to just play guys now who might perform better, regardless of stats. Whoever's performing better probably will need to just keep the shot. Because that is kind of more important for us in this relegation battle than <sighs> stats to a degree. Harlock playing as a winger is playing worse than our wide target man. Again, my one one pick the the, the uh, roles that I picked is really just what suits the players best. I.e., like what they feel or what the coaches feel is their best role. That that's it. You know, there's no nothing between it. There's no like. No real tactical reason why I've got a wide target man in the deep line forward. <laughs> it just is what it is just now. Seems like we're standing off a lot. Which in some ways can be okay depending on what it is in the park. Oh. 
No, we did. I actually did really well to keep him wide and not get across in. But that cutback, somebody should have been picking him up. Definitely should have been picking him up on the cutback. Good clearance. Neil gets to it. Plays it for to Hurlock, who is on his own, waiting for support. Okay, okay. Again, I'm concerned I've not created a single shot on... No, not on target. Just a single shot. We haven't created anything. Yet. <coughs> I might come off defensive and just go cautious into the second half. I think I'll take McKinney off. My biggest worry with him isn't that he's a good defender or a bad defender, sorry. It's the no pace on him at all. It means any right wing... Oh my god. It means any player on the right wing with any form of pace will just get by. Does he even need to drill by him? Just knock the ball long. You're going to outpace him for it, so... Okay, so they have dominated us, but it is still now now which... I would have took it half-time uh, at the beginning of the game for half-time. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to bring on Alan Jones as left back. He is a left back actually. On wing back attack. Okay, we may actually do that. First bring Lancaster on the left mid. Just be a winger. Mm, okay. I think that's the only change I'm going to make. Just one change. We're taking off the uh, yellow carded player. Bring on a young star. And see how this goes. It's actually, <laughs> either either player's, player's going to leave that right wing exposed, but for different reasons. One's exposing it for a, a lack of pace. One's exposing it because they're going to want to attack on the ball. So really just try to see what we can do. 57 minutes still now, now, but we do probably need to make changes. Herlock and Kelly look the most likely to come off. It's a good ball, actually. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, good goal. Good go. Uh, on Taylor, you are a DM. You are a ball with a midfield on support, that'll do it. Don't necessarily need a you know a playmaker in the type of way we're asking the team to play. It's just not my biggest concern. Um Let's change that, so let's bring on, let's move him over to defensive mid on defend, let's bring on Owen Taylor for Kelly, as a ball winning midfield, no as an anchor man, move Clark into the number 10 and we'll bring on Bradbury, who is attacking midfielder on support, and we'll then bring on Roberts for Newell. Roberts is a pressing forward defend. And see if that can help us get back into the game. That's four changes so far. Yeah, and we'll leave the other changes just in case. See the other change, we can only make one more sub anyway. Okay, her look though with the corner. Straight to the keeper, it's not really challenging anybody. Good header by Jones. Hollow plays inside, Roberts doesn't go on the end of it though. I'm in talks to sign three players, but unless they sign, I'm not going to show you them. I don't think there's any point. Roberts throws one on one. Good save. I say that because I also can't remember what position they play. It was a week ago I last played this, so I'm not actually sure who the lads are. Just remember I made offer for three of them. I believe one's at least a striker. One might be a centre mid, one might be a winger. That sounds right in my head. But we're in talks to sign. We've off contract to three players. Just to see if we can get them in. 20 minutes left. And I'm not fully sure what to do. Gonna move him up front. Target forward on support. 
four. And I'm going to bring on Wallace Ming. Just play a really weird formation. A formation that provides absolutely zero width, mind you, but it's a weird formation. Just to try and do something a bit different. That's, that's my only concern, just now he's doing something a little bit different. Ow. Ow. Don't know why that lozenge was, like, sharp as fuck there, but it is. Do you know what, I would not defeat the TNS in our first game of charge isn't a bad result, really. Like, sure, would much rather have a draw, but if you said you'll only lose 1-0 to the best team in the league, best team in the country, yeah, sure, give me it. Give me it right now. Thank you. Uh, we're underdogs. Give your best effort. Well done. Yep, lads will be happy with that. Because it was a, generally it's a good result for this like. Um, TNS got the result. Credit goes to them. I'm open to suggestions. Um, it doesn't matter that was a game in hand. Yet yeah, loses four points off Connors Key in Colwyn Bay and Haverford West. But it's fine. You know, four points is nothing. We're going to play each team twice anyway, so four points is absolutely nothing. And the next game is going to be just as hard. We're playing Ponty for a day, our third in the league. That is in seven days' time. So, uh, yeah. I mean, they completely dominated us and we kept the score down, so sure. But let's see what happens. In seven days' time, we take on Ponty Pred. And we are back for the second game. And I have made three signings, but none of them obviously can play till January. Let's actually have a look at them. Now, first in, we all came in the same day, but first in is Felix Goddard. He is a 21-year-old uh, goalkeeper. I think just a bit in general, he is just a bit better than Matthews, who had a pretty decent game, to be honest. Um, green is Felix Blue is Matthew, so shot stopping speed. Communication is all better. Matthews has a better aerial reach and distribution, but I'm not too bored about those two, but the shot stopping part, I mean, I am. Uh, next is Brandon Houndstrup. He is a 29-year-old fullback. He's just a solid defender, really. He's got a bit more pace than what we currently have, so him coming in in January will be awesome. As much as he's here now, but being able to register these two in January will be amazing. And then being able to register Joshua Farrell in January, I think could be a bit of a game changer. He is a 22-year-old Welsh striker. Pace for days, finishing and composure, with decision-making first touch and a decent heading ability. What's not to love? Him up front could get the goals for us, and that's something that I think we are probably missing from this team. But talking about today's team, there's no changes to the starting lineup. The only change comes from going from a defensive to a cautious mentality. And yeah, Connors Key lost their game, so they stay four points ahead going into today's game. Or is it five points? Maybe five points ahead. Um, so that's fine. You know, that, that gap hasn't got any wider regardless of today's result. So that is probably good all in all. Uh, Newell came to me after I signed Faro, and he's like, hey boss, I'm really worried that you're signing this guy to take my place. And I was like, yeah. Yes, he is. That's exactly why I signed him. <laughs> I play with one striker just now. None of you are good enough. I signed him. Uh, told him he's better just a fringe player for me. Which to do that, your club captain, after your first game in charge, probably isn't the smartest thing to do. But I was truthful. Uh, none of my fullbacks or goalkeepers, however, have complained at me signing in your goalkeeper, Lossinger. Hump. We are the team in white, taking on Pontypridd, which is the team in orange. George Newell, who is now unhappy, is still leading the line. Good shit's probably our best striker that's registered, but we don't really have a good right mid, which is the issue there. Well, shot from distance here from Pontypridd actually wasn't that far away. Okay. Uh, 
I may change how we defend in terms of settings. I may see what it is, but I don't feel like we're just standing off them. I'm not a huge lover of that. But that's a good ball out to good ship. It does really well to try and keep that in. Plays back to Kelly, who is our deep line playmaker. That's a long ball to good ship. Or wait, target man. What can he do? Plays it back to Kelly, deep line playmaker for us. On the venue. Shot from distance. George Newell with a first goal for us as bosses, Balatown. And he is here now to try and stake his claim in the side between now and January. The other players that we signed today, the three of them cannot be registered until January, until the window opens. So, that's a good effort as well. Don't know why what the keeper does try and save that. It's like an awful attempt at save. But do you know what? I don't care. We've taken the lead. It's Balatown 1, Pontypridd 0. What's the media equaliser here? I could feel it in my fucking bones that one was going to go in. Let's not watch Matthews make an arse of that, please. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Unlucky from you, that's, that's good for you, kick. Look at the match stats, I think we may be the better team just now. Which is worrying, because if we don't capitalise on that at half-time, if they get a said, decent team talk or whatever from the manager, or even make me a couple of tactical changes, they could take control of this game, if things stay as they are. We're not having the possession, but I think we seem to be creating chances more than they are. As he says as they get a corner. Jack Caradigan. Oh my god, Matthews. Do you know what? I signed a new goalkeeper after that first game. I thought, maybe I've been a bit harsh on Matthews. But no, I'm pretty happy now I've got a new goalkeeper coming in to be a new number one for the other half of the season. That is so poor between Paige and Matthews there. Really bad. We're now 2-1 down. Hmm. Something I didn't mention, I've actually brought in some staff. Hey, I have an assistant manager now. My assistant manager is former Hamilton Crystal Palace and Wigan midfielder and Scotland international, James MacArthur. We get pretty decent stats. Um, so yeah, not making any changes at halftime this time. Because I don't feel the need we should have. Even though McKinney, for example, and our centre halves aren't getting the None of our defence has the good best match ratings. We seem to be in, arguably the better side defensively, even though we're 2-1 behind. Jonathan Page is the guy who's going to come off, I think. John, no. Neil's going to move over. You're going to move up as that target man on attack with a deep line forward on support. We'll move Paige out to the right. We'll bring on Lancaster as a winger, I'm assuming. Perfect. We'll also bring on Alan Jones again. And right now I'm happy with those changes. That's only two I'm going to make. I'll just change our shape. We may as well try things. We just give away a penalty and I haven't been paying attention. No. So yeah, we'll just may as well try a different shape. Try getting into the game again. See what we can do. Alan Jones to Newell. Plays it to Goodship. And that is a good finish from Brandon Goodship. Good bit of play from Newell and Goodship. They're all linking up well. Do I then change from a DM to having a, 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 a two up top with two wide wingers? Great finish there from Goodship. Probably poor goalkeeping and get beat like that. But do you know what? We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. George Newell with a goal and an assist. Poor kick out. Jones kind of wins it. And go and picks it up. Plays out in midfield. Gets it back. Plays it out now to Terry Hurlock. You know if your name is Terry Hurlock. I've just named you after a former footballer. I actually attempted just now to bring on McLean. Uh, in defence. Try to show that up a little bit. Probably move you out there as a winger. 
Wallace, Wallace Ming is a wing on the right hand side since he can play every front position under the sun. Um, yeah. Corner kick to us, Clark with the ball in. I thought it was going to fall in Goma, but it doesn't. Oh dear. So a two, two all here is a great result for us. Another team we probably weren't in any way expected to get anything from, so if we can get a point, delighted. Curl to Wallace Mings, or Wallace Ming even. Plays inside to good chip. Wallace Ming plays that long attack ball to Lancaster, who just hits it straight at the keeper. That is an easy save to make. So maybe this formation with the two, I guess a four-two-two, does leave us very exposed. But so far, they seem to be coping with it. Okay. They got corner in the 90th minute of the game. We're going to couple minutes added on. Can we hold on for a draw? This would be a big point. If we can get it, this will definitely be a big, big point for us. Now Jones with the free kick. Go straight to the defenders there. Do not lose a goal now, for the love of Christ. And we don't. That's a good result for us. A draw against Pontypridd. Doesn't move us up the table. What it does do is give us an extra point we weren't expecting, which will all add up come the end of the season. God, my hand switch to his eczema right now. And with that, we go three points behind Connors Key and Colwyn Bay. Could be getting interesting. Our next game against is against Apeworth Newtown. What's the game after that? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Newtown in the first with doublehead against Carnarfon. So join me tomorrow and we will take on Newtown and Carnarfon in the league. Thank you everyone who's watched today. I hope you generally have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you think I've took on the right job moving to Ballatown. I'm genuinely curious to see what you think about that. Until tomorrow's episode though, take care, bye for now.